Right guys, welcome back um, to the, uh, I believe this is the fifth installment of the 30 minutes to a better guitar player day exercise video series. I'm getting rid of the course part of it. Today we are um, kind of on the, uh, we're getting towards the end of it, that's the second last five minute section of the exercise routine. We're already done four, which were the... Uh, I said I, I'm asking you to commit five minutes to each and every one of those segments. Um, five minutes with the metronome. Um, there you go. This fifth section is kind of my um, my stumbling block, and that's why I've added it into this lately. I've been doing this a lot. Um, I personally think finger picking is my weakness uh, in the guitar playing. I'm not bad at it, but I don't think it's my strength, so I'm, I'm trying to put a lot, as much effort into it as possible. So what I want you to do is pick a finger picking pattern. Um, this has been my go-to lately. There's uh, several different types of finger picking people do. Uh, some people do the two, two finger. I can't, I can't do two finger picking at all. Uh, some people use three fingers. I use four fingers. I leave the little little pinky finger out. I used to use even the pinky finger, but then it kind of started to get on more on the way, and uh, then I realized that hardly anybody used the little finger anyway. So uh, most people we only use like two or three. So uh, I honestly think that the, there is value in using the of the four fingers for the finger picking. So what I want you to do, um, pick at any chord, as I, as I said before, I tune my guitar to jazz cat, uh, pick at any chord, the chord really doesn't matter, it, it, it's easier on this one if it rings because you can hear whether you get the nose right or not. And because I'm playing a jazz cat, uh, this is how I set up my finger picking, so it's the first first finger on the first string, and as I said, again, my I count the strings from... Uh, from, from, from where I'm looking at, the bass string is the number one string and it's closest to me. So that's the, the down from one, two, three, four, five, six. Many of the guys do it the other way around. I find this easier for some reason for my little brain. So that's how it works here. Uh, so I take the first string with my thumb, then I get the first finger on the fourth, uh, middle finger on the fifth and index finger on the um, on the sixth string and then I come back down so come back up so bass first second third second first ok 
Okay, and there, I'm, I'm doing these ones only on the first string, fourth string, fifth string, and sixth string. So, okay. But then I alternate the bass just uh, using. In my case, I usually do it. So I do the octave bass instead of the... Again, slow is better. go on for that for five solid minutes. Things to concentrate on is uh, again let every note ring that's why I want you to pick a chord and stick to that so that the, it has something to, to work towards so every note needs to ring. Also try to get as even pick as possible it, I know it's difficult in the beginning you end up one of naturally a lot of people understand that they end up I did that for years, I put the, the last string was louder than any, any of the other strings, strings. So you just have to kind of be mindful of it, aware of it. Uh, also, I find it that because by the nature of it, that you're plugging um, the, 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 these fingers are plugging backwards, they kind of get a better grip of the string, so they end up being a little bit more clearer. So the, so the thumb is very easily being very low, but you want the bass to be there, so you really need to build it. I think more, most strength you need to build is the actual thumb, so that it has stay same level than the other strings. That's just one pattern. You can pick up, you can go on a, on a internet and find loads of different finger picking patterns and you can change that pattern. But whatever pattern it is that you're working on, I'm asking you to, every time you do the workout, that stick to one pattern for five minutes with a metronome, keep it slow in the beginning, your finger picking will get better. Mine is getting somewhere, so stick with it. Um, so that is your fifth segment of the uh, 30 minutes to better guitar player. So that's 25 minutes of exercise done so far. Tune in for the next next one where we're gonna go through the whole lot again and I'm gonna show you that the last exercise and uh, where you should go from there with the exercises, okay? Um, so don't forget to subscribe, turn on the no don't those notifications so you get a notification in your mailbox every time I've got a new video coming out. And let me know in the comments, are you enjoying the exercises? Have you been doing them? Uh, are you seeing any benefits with them? And uh, as I said, you know, give it time. This is a the long game, patient game. Do this seven days a week um, for six months. You're guaranteed to see results out of them. Um, and thanks very much for watching. And I shall talk to you guys soon.